The pleb is back, baby. The pleb is back. It has been, what, eight, nine days since I've made a video. It's good to be back. It truly is. I've been busy. I'm so happy to be back making videos for you guys. In this video, we're going to talk about Justin Trudeau support just nosediving at the polls. Justin Trudeau, the majority of Canadians want Justin Trudeau gone now. Do you believe me? Well, you don't have to believe me because you know the pleb always brings receipts to his videos, right? First and foremost, before we start this video, the pleb has been sponsored by... Nope. No. But I'll still throw the bags. The pleb is sponsored by calendarsthatcurse.ca. Pick up one of these bad boys. Only the finest unwoke calendars from the pleb. Do you think this is a good sponsorship? Do you think this, this suits my brand? Ha! My first ever sponsor. Come a long way. In this video, I want to talk about Justin Trudeau's support. Absolutely nosediving. Justin Trudeau's support is going down. People, his support's dwindling. You don't believe me, right? You don't believe me. I, I get it. I get it. But you know, the pleb always brings receipts. So I'm going to show you guys. Justin Trudeau's support right now. On December 12th, Leger released a poll. Leger released a poll here that shows that Justin Trudeau is behind in Ontario. Pierre Polyev has 36% when Justin Trudeau has 29% in Ontario. Are you kidding me? This is a very bullish signal for Pierre Polyev to see the conservatives be Relevant at this point in Ontario, this is a liberal stronghold and the conservatives are ahead and the wildest thing, the wildest thing, Pierre Polyev has support of the youth. There is a cultural shift happening right now. The youth support Pierre Polyev. The youth are usually traditionally left, but all of a sudden after COVID, after the last couple of years, Justin Trudeau destroying the economy, young people can't even afford to buy a house, they're living in their parents' basement. Yeah, maybe it is time to look at the conservative party and not look at the virtue signaling nothing burgers that the liberals offer. The liberals offer you nothing for your dollar. You get nothing. You may get some drag shows for kids on the weekends at Boston Pizza, but then your head of lettuce costs you $10. That's liberal clown world. We need to swing the pendulum right back to normality. We have gone so far left, it's insane. So yes, Pierre Polyev is ahead by 7% in Ontario, according to a Leger poll. Does that shock you? I mean, I will bring you more receipts. This one's a really satisfying one for the record. This one is really satisfying. I have to suck this one in a little bit. I'm going to show you guys this. I love it. You think These are things you love to see for a thousand, Alex. Okay? Look at this headline. Oh, so good. So good. Lily, the majority of Canadians want Trudeau to step down in 2023. Can you believe it? Can you believe that the majority of Canadians now want Justin Trudeau to step down before the next election? What? Wait, so Justin Trudeau is behind in Ontario. The majority of Canadians want him to step down before the next election. What is going on? Is Canada waking up? Is that really what's happening? Are people hurting so badly financially right now that the pain that they're feeling is what's waking them up, giving them that red pill. But yeah, majority of Canadians want Trudeau to step down. Hmm. Are they saying that because they want Freeland in power? Is that it? Is that it? Because I will show you guys here another poll, another article, actually. January 4th, two weeks after that. So those are both from December. Now we got a January headline here from the Globe and Mail. Look at this. Just over half of Canadians want liberals to ditch Trudeau as leader before the next election. What? They don't even have faith in Justin Trudeau anymore. They don't even think Justin Trudeau can deliver them a victory. And you know what? I think they're right. 
I do think they're right. I think their best chance in the next election is uh, to go with Christia Freeland. Because I, I here, I'll show you guys a poll I put out here. Let me show you guys a poll. The pleb truck driver pleb on Twitter. If you guys don't follow me, follow me. I regularly put out polls and tweets. I'm very active on Twitter, way more than YouTube. I put out a Twitter poll a couple of days ago here. Read this poll. Liberals are losing faith in Justin Trudeau, and he is nosediving in the polls. A majority of Canadians now think that Justin Trudeau should resign before the election, next election. What do you want to see? 55% said they want Trudeau to resign before the next election, while 45% said lose to Pierre. I am on the side of lose to Pierre, and I'll explain to you guys why. Uh, do you guys really? Do you guys want to go up against? Uh, okay. Who do you want to face at the next election, conservatives? Do you want to face a guy who can't even count? Or do you want to face a Harvard graduate who's very competent? Hmm. I myself, I want to go up against Trudeau. I do not want him to resign. I do not want a fresh face in Christia Freeland to be put in power and be the head of the Liberal Party before the next election. No way. I personally want to see Trudeau lose. I think he's very beatable in the next election. And as you're looking at these polls, the conservatives are ahead, right? I mean, the conservatives are ahead in Ontario. Are you kidding me? Ontario? How are the conservatives ahead in Ontario? That never happens. Maybe since Harper. Anyways, yeah. The majority of you guys want to see him resign before the next election. Maybe you guys are being a little selfish. You have a lot of PTSD from Justin Trudeau. Uh, the years of him gaslighting you, the lockdowns, you just want to see this guy go. And I totally get it. But think about this, man. Do you really want to face Christia Freeland or do you want to face Justin Trudeau? Because that is the reality for the next election. I don't want to face Christia Freeland. I want to face the big virtue signaling dummy who can't do grade three math. That's who I want to face at the next election. Ah, okay. We have here. The latest seat projections. This came out today from Canada Polling. Look at this seat projection. 144. So if we went to an election today, we had an election today, conservatives would form government. But we need 170 for a majority. See, this is good. Okay, it's bullish. Yes, we're ahead right now, but we're not ahead by enough. We need 170. We need a majority because you want to know why? Because the Liberal Party and the NDP are just going to form another coalition. So we need to go into this next election strong. We need to smash it with a majority or else we're going to get nothing done. We're just going to be facing a coalition with a minority government and that'll be pointless. So this is why us conservatives... We really need to unite. We This is our chance. This is really our chance to get Trudeau out. And if we're going to vote split on the right, I don't think that's smart. I don't think it's smart. I think vote splitting is real. I think we should all get behind the same guy. And uh, we should uh, send this guy to the victory. Man, I believe in Pierre. I know some people don't believe, trust Pierre. They think he's a WAF and all that. I trust Pierre. I'm giving him a chance. I'm not burning my vote, splitting the vote this time around. Look at this. This is the prize right here. The GTA. <laughs> Look at that. It's almost all red. This is the prize. We're not winning the next election. We're not getting a majority unless we clean house over here. Do you think we could do it? I mean, Pierre has a immigrant wife with a great story who speaks french that's very good for quebec i'm just very bullish i'm very bullish on pierre pierre is a very competent politician and i think he is going to take us to the victory land what do you guys think let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this do you think justin trudeau should resign before the next election or do you want to see pierre take him on at the next election tell me in the comments i'm curious you guys know how i feel about it i want to know how you guys feel about that we need to win the gta y'all we need to win the gta we need to smash it we finally have a leader who's a really good politician who i feel can get us across the the finish line i'm very bullish on pierre i'm excited for the first time in years the pleb is excited about canada Man, if we if Justin Trudeau gets another term, we are screwed. Let's all support Pierre, okay? This is a Pierre Polyev channel here. Like and subscribe, leave a comment, share. I'll see you guys at the next video. Trudeau has to go.